Silent Debuggers, a strange name for an equally strange game. Data East, a Japanese developer, put this game out exclusively for the PC Engine in 1991. You are a debugger, someone dispatched to find the secrets within an abandoned space station. The game doesn't go into too much detail about what a debugger is exactly, but I think you're a kind of soldier slash computer wizard, or something. Anyway, while your partner does most of the keyboard tapping, you're the one who goes out to patrol the hallways. There aren't any humans around, but there are terrifying monsters that want nothing more than to claw off your face. Your goal is eliminating all of the monsters on each stage, of which there are six in total. After completing level one, you have a hundred minutes to clear out the other five decks of the station. So you're supposed to beat this game in less than two hours, but you'll spend a long time before getting anywhere near competent. First of all, navigation is extremely tricky. Halls don't have any markings on them, and your HUD map is a black box. So you have to go through the laborious process of opening up the map menu to know exactly where you are. Meanwhile, combat is something special. I guess you could call this a first-person shooter. I mean, you are in a first-person view and shooting at things, so why not? You can't look up or down, and the only way to change your view is to rotate around to the next frame, but let's just call this an FPS anyway. It's more of a survival FPS, since you have so many limitations weighing on you, not the least of which is the big 100-minute countdown in the bottom left of the screen. Some of the primary weapons have a limited capacity, and your heavy weapons have severely restricted ammunition. Within the main structure, you can go to a battery recharge station and an ammo room, but these can be locked away by the nasty green monsters. The game warns you whenever this is about to happen, but you're almost always too far away to do anything about it. Oh, and if you're in the sector shut down by the green monster, you're dead. Gone. Game over. But hey, the monsters catch on fire. Your life gauge is two separate and swappable battery packs, and when you get hit while on an empty battery, you're toast. Your partner bails you out, but you lose 10 minutes on the countdown. So with all that tension in place, this is the kind of game you're going to repeat again and again, if only because it takes so many playthroughs to master and finish the game. It is kind of weird that there's no music during your hunt to kill all of the monsters, but I think that adds to the tension as you're balancing all the weights of life gauge, limited ammo, the countdown clock, and a confusing maze of hallways infested with aliens trying to murder you. I think the graphics are quite pretty, actually, but unfortunately there's not a ton of variety to the level design, just different color halls and different shades of monster. You could have downloaded the game for the Wii Virtual Console, but in 2012 it was removed for a reason, I guess. So for those compelled to try out the sci-fi horror of Silent Debuggers, you'll have to play it as intended, on the PC Engine or Turbo Graphics. Thanks for watching, and mahalo. Thank <laughs> you.